Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. Name the unit in which the calorific value of a fuel is expressed. So calorific value is the amount of heat energy which is produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of fuel. So heat energy, units of energy is joules. Now here we are talking about huge amounts of energy. So we use say kilojoules, right? So the unit in which we will measure this is kilojoules per kg. That means how much kilojoule of energy is being produced by 1 kg of the fuel. So the unit is kilojoule per kg. So if you look at the calorific values of various fuels, for example, for coal, the calorific value is around 25,000 to 33,000 kilojoules per kg. If you look at the calorific value of petrol, it is 45,000 kilojoules per kg. That means burn on complete combustion of 1 kg of petrol, heat energy of 45,000 kilojoules will be produced. You take example of LPG. So for LPG, it is 55,000 kilojoules per kg. So 1 kg of LPG on complete combustion will produce 55,000 kilojoules of heat energy. Biogas. This has a calorific value of 35,000 to 40,000 kilojoules per kg. Question number 7. Explain how carbon dioxide is able to control fires. Now as I mentioned before, carbon dioxide is generally used in scenarios where water cannot be used to control fire. One such scenario is fire involving electrical equipments. So carbon dioxide is sprayed, when it is sprayed through the fire extinguishers, it acts as a blanket over the substance and the fire. So basically it cuts the contact. So this, this blanket is the blanket of carbon dioxide and you have oxygen here. So basically the contact of the substance with the oxygen is lost due to the formation of blanket of carbon dioxide in between them. Now since the supply of oxygen is lost, therefore combustion does not take place because for combustion oxygen is an important criteria. So and why carbon dioxide forms this blanket? Because carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen. So therefore it tends to settle down and that's how it, set, it, it tends to form a layer below oxygen. So it acts as a blanket on the fire, contact with oxygen is lost and therefore the fire gets extinguished. Question number 8. It is difficult to burn a heap of green leaves, but dry leaves catch fire easily. Explain. Now, when you talk about green leaves, they contain moisture, they contain water. And wherever we have water, what does it do? It does some cooling. So, it returns to reduce the temperature. So, the ignition temperature it becomes difficult to be achieved because the normal temperature gets reduced. So instead of providing heat what, due to the presence of water, there is a cooling effect. So therefore, it increases the ignition temperature and therefore, it do not catch fire easily. So when water is present there, so it becomes difficult to reach the ignition temperature. So you can say it in other words, presence of water makes it difficult to reach the ignition temperature and if ignition temperature is not reached it will not catch fire but if you look at the dry leaves they do not contain water so it is easier for them to reach their ignition temperature question number nine which zone of a flame does a goldsmith use for melting gold and silver now for melting gold and silver the goldsmith needs lot of heat and which is the hottest layer the outermost zone. So the outermost zone or the luminous or the non-luminous zone is the hottest zone and is used by goldsmith. So outermost layer or flame is used for melting gold and silver. So this is also known as the non-luminous zone because it is the hottest layer. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट फोर पॉइंट फाइव के जी ऑफ अ फ्यूल वॉज कंप्लीटली बर्ड द हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड वॉज मेजर टू बी वन लैक एटी थाउजेंड किलो जूल्स कैलकुलेट द कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू ऑफ अ फ्यूल सो वॉट इज कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू इट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी दैट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड ऑन बर्निंग वन के जी ऑफ फ्यूएल सो द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट फोर पॉइंट फाइव के जी ऑफ फ्यूएल वॉज कंप्लीटली बर्न टू प्रोड्यूस वन लैख एटी थाउजेंड किलो जूल्स ऑफ एनर्जी सो वेन वन के जी ऑफ फ्यूएल विल बी कंप्लीटली बर्न देन हाउ मच किलो जूल्स विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड वन लैख एटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई फोर पॉइंट फाइव किलो जूल्स पर के जी सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी फोर्टी थाउजेंड किलो जूल्स पर के जी सो दिस वुड बी द कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू ऑफ द फ्यूल क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन कैन द प्रोसेस ऑफ रस्टिंग बी कॉल्ड कंबाशन डिस्कस वॉट इज रस्टिंग वॉट हैपन्स इन रस्टिंग Rusting is the process. Rusting happens in case of metals like iron or copper. So when they are exposed to moist air, they form oxides, and the formation of their oxides results in the formation of uh, a layer over their surface. For example, in case of iron, there is a reddish colored layer. In case of copper, there is a greenish layer. But in case of rusting, also the pro rusting is also oxidation, where uh, the metal actually combines with oxygen to form oxides. and during that process rust is formed but it is not combustion why because how do we define combustion in combustion also oxidation happens so the similarity between rusting and combustion is that both of them are oxidation that is in both the processes the substance combines with oxygen but in case of rusting there is no heat released but in combustion heat has to be released so that is how we define combustion only if oxidation results in production of heat and light that is called combustion but in rusting there is no heat released so if you compare these two processes when you burn wood a lot of heat is released fire uh, light is also released so this is combustion but if you look at the rusting of copper so there is a formation of an additional green greenish layer due to the formation of rust but there is no heat which is released during the process therefore rusting cannot be called combustion mainly because no heat is produced during rusting question number 12 Abida and Ramesh were doing an experiment in which water was to be heated in a beaker. So you have a beaker with water. So Abida kept the beaker near the wick in the yellow flame in the yellow part of the candle flame. Okay. So let us say this is Abida. So what did she do? She kept the beaker near the wick in the yellow part of candle flame. So this is the yellow part of the candle flame, and she kept the beaker in that part. Ramesh. kept the beaker in the outermost part of the flame so this was the outermost part of the flame the bluish part so this is what ramesh did so whose water will get heated in a shorter time now here the beaker is placed in the middle zone or the luminous zone and here the beaker is placed in the outer zone and we know that outer zone is the hottest zone and middle zone is less hot now whichever will be in the more hot in the hotter zone will get heated up quickly so that means this will get heated up in lesser time so this will get heated in a shorter time so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and i hope that this lesson on combustion uh, and flames would have helped you so uh, please uh, look at the concepts focus on the understanding uh, and see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.